So in this video, I'm going to be talking. In this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first thoughts of Dr. Squatch's Star Wars bars of soap. There's four of them. Looking forward to, to getting into it, showing you, and, and letting you know what I think of them. Right? Just looking at the box, it's big. It's like the size of a keyboard. It's, it's really big. I was actually quite surprised on how large it was when it came in the mail. Not a bad thing, because it's the, it's the packaging is really nice. I just, like, you kind of want to keep it, and it's just so big, like, where do you put something like this? That's the only downside, I'd say, to having something like this, but it's like, the packaging is great. The artwork is really nice. I mean, like I said, like, I'd want to keep this or put it somewhere, and I just don't know what to do with it. I hope that I can find a place for it, because I think the artwork, just that alone, is really cool. It would be nice if that detached in some way, but this is magnetic. Uh, it closes and seals really nice. I mean, for 32 bucks, I'd say it's $8 a bar of soap, where normally their soaps go for $7. That's a pretty good price, uh, considering how it came. I'm looking forward to seeing if they do more of these types of um, special editions, where, I, where I'd say like maybe like a, maybe like a Lord of the Rings or whatever it is, The Hobbit. I would take either of those. But something like where you're taking from a different universe or a different... Uh, I don't know, different IP or whatever you want to call it, and taking it and making it like into a Dr. Squatch type soap. But let's start into the each soap. I'm going to go into their scent. Uh, each one of them is kind of, they're they're really cool in fear and, and theme because they have that color code. You can see Obi-Wan Kenobi has a bluish and brown, which kind of fits to his his thing. The smell, this smell is really nice. This is not one that you would have to get exfoliation from. It says thyme leaf powder. They don't say how they smell. They just say it's or, or, aromatic, bright, and uplifting, just like a Squatch Man should be. I would say that that is pretty on point to what this smells like. It's pretty fresh. There, It just smells like fresh freshness, maybe fresh plant in a way, a fresh plant. Uh, if that explains anything, but it, uh, the ingredients are usually the same in all their bars. It's potified oils, shea butter, natural fragrance. This one has betonite clay, uh, and it has thyme leaf powder, like I said, brown iron oxide, mica, and kaolin clay and sea salt. This smells really nice. Not too strong. This one, I would say it's on the lighter side. I don't know why I said it smells like a fresh plant. kind of does in a way. Uh, let's go into Wisdom Wash, and this is called Only... Hope Soap. Pretty pretty cool name, obviously, for obvious reasons. Wisdom Wash is the Yoda one. This is green. Uh, and this has lotus leaf powder, uh, besides the same normal ingredients. I'm not going to read them all. To me, this one smelled the best because I did kind of uh, give them a little smell. Oh, here's this one says, feels like, feel the lotus leaf nourish your skin as the fresh herbaceous scent calms your mind and clears your thoughts. So that's what this smells like. This smells a little similar. Oh, see, you know, this one has it on the back too. Let me just go into this. This is a blend of thyme leaf. We kind of get into that. This doesn't see the, say the scent on it though, but this one does. Her her box, her bed, I'm probably pronouncing it so poorly, but I really like the Yoda scent. This is stronger than the Obi-Wan uh, scent, Wisdom Washes, and it, but it, they're very similar. They have like, a very floral plant like smell uh wisdom wash is a little more stronger and this one is not as strong but they're similar in that type of way i think they're very floral plant i think uh fresh that those are those two really good so let's get into the dark side scrub and that is the darth vader one which is going to be red and black for, for obvious reasons uh, black and red are the color of his lightsaber well black color him and then red the color of the lightsaber really nice looking bar so this one says it has heavy grit and um it doesn't it, this is smells like choke berry which is really funny that there's actually something called a choke berry uh arania powder which is choke berry and uh the considering the choke thing, you know, that the force choke. I think that is really clever that they found that. Uh, it has activated charcoal, it has sea salt. I don't know where, where it's saying it has heavy grit. It says it does, I don't feel it right off. Maybe it does once you start using it, but I don't feel it. So I don't know where, where they get that from. 
Uh, it says exfoliating with sand and tempting smoky scent. Uh, I smell like a sweet scent. I don't smell smokiness. I don't smell smoke. I smell sweet. I don't know exactly what it is. It smells like a berry. It might be the choke berry, but that's what it smells like to me. I don't smell smokiness. Really nice, but a lighter on the lighter side, light kind of Obi-Wan where it's not as strong. They're both similar. So far, the, the Yoda one is the strongest smell, smelling one. And we'll get into the Ruthless Rinse, which is uh, Darth, Darth, Darth Maul. Darth Maul. Uh, see, now this red, uh, this also says Heavy Grit. I don't see that. It says that this has black sand. This smells like dragon fruit, spicy, woody aroma. That's kind of what it's got. This one is pretty on point. You can see what it says on the back. The packaging is really nice on these. You can see what it says on the back of here. Uh, this one, it's like a, a light cinnamon smell, even though it says dragon fruit. It remind, It's a little stronger than the Darth Vader. I would say that Wisdom Wash is the strongest out of the four and my favorite. This one might be uh, my second favorite, and it might even jump depending on how it performs in the shower. It might, the, sometimes when you start using it in hot water, the smell will uh, change a little bit and, and possibly be stronger. This one is just dragon fruit powder uh, and sand, the two different. So sand, this one has uh, sand in it too. Uh, they say it's heavy grit. I, I don't see that. Maybe when you're using it will be, uh, but Overall, I love this package. I mean, I would buy it. I wouldn't buy it again uh, based on my initial thoughts. Like if it came out again, and I, I probably wouldn't, uh, but I'd buy a, a new one if they came out with a new type of, new another four bars. Um, I would probably buy it if I wasn't like constantly getting soap sent to me. I would probably buy it. Maybe I'd buy it again just because it's really cool. But the box, packaging, everything, it, it is... I mean, for, I don't even know who, who would collect soap, but for a collector, <laughs> this is really nice. Uh, I guess I collect soap, I have a lot of it, and I have a box full of soaps that I haven't used, so maybe that would make someone like me a collector, I don't know. Uh, really, really nice. I'm impressed that they did this, and they only charged a dollar more, which $8 isn't too bad, So and with the packaging, 32 bucks. I, I, I would recommend getting it and I'd love to know everybody's thoughts on their favorite scent out of the four because everybody's different. Everybody has a different like scent that they like. Some people don't like certain things. So far, my favorite is the Yoda. Uh, second favorite is Doc Maul. What are your initial thoughts? Put in the comments. I, I, I know that that kind of drives up the aggro, like drives up whatever, I don't know what it does, but I, I honestly like to know people's opinion and see what, if I'm far off from what the, what everybody else thinks. Like if everybody's saying that that's their least favorite, I, I'd be curious to why and what am I doing? Because <laughs> uh, I'm hoping that you guys feel the same way. Uh, but let me know in the, in the comments, I'd appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, I appreciate that too. And, and uh, if you like the content that I put out, which is basically soap reviews, consider uh, subscribing. Thank you so much and have a great rest of the day.